the Fordson students join us by lining up and uh, Mr. Musalem, please join us up here. Good evening, and I'd like to congratulate the Dearborn High School students and all the other students that are here. Phenomenal job, wonderful job. Please, another round of applause for the Dearborn High School students. As the Fortson students snake their way around the gym and they get around that corner and lined up, I just have a couple words to say before we begin. My name is Yusuf Masalam. I'm the principal of Fortson High School, and I'm honored to be an administrator here in the Dearborn Public Schools. Your students, your children, their successes as a Dearborn Public School System is due to the partnerships that we have in our district. The partnership that, of course, stems from you and your children, but the partnerships that we have with all three high schools, with the superintendent's office, and with the Board of Education. That partnership has truly created an environment where all of our students can be successful. I do want to say, as we do have rivalries on the field and we have rivalries on the, on the court, our athletic programs rival one another because they all want to attain success. But the great thing about the Dearborn Public Schools is those rivalries do not occur in the classroom as each school is always working hard with one another because it is an honor to see so many of these students in this building here today because we're one district with one mission and that's student success. So congratulations to you parents. It is my honor and my privilege to be an administrator in the Dearborn Public Schools and the principal of Fortson High School. With that said, I believe we're ready to begin. And I'd like to invite our first student, Omar Abazid. Good evening, everybody. Uh, today I have uh, my world history teacher, Mr. Sion. Uh, I'll never forget that Mr. Sion took world history, one of the most boring subjects that you could possibly think of, and made it a very enjoyable one. And I'll never forget how he always let me sneak my hand into his veggie sticks when all the students weren't looking for, <laughs> for a little snag between the tests and stuff. So thank you, Mr. Sion. Ali Abdullah. All right, uh, I'd just like to start off by saying that uh, Mr. Abel Hassan, I am truly blessed to have him in my life. He was uh, not only my math teacher my freshman year, but he was also my basketball coach for three consecutive years. And he has uh, disciplined me greatly on and off the courts. And I know that's going to be a huge part in the next part of my life. Thank you. Tamer Abu Halwa. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I brought my teacher today, uh, H Money. My, AP, my former AP Lang teacher, um, Ms. Howe has been a perfect role model for me. She's always been there for me. She's helped me, not academically, but personally, she helped me become more of a critical thinker and a better person. So I thank her so much. Aziza Abu Saba. Hello, today I'd like to honor my AP chemistry teacher, Mr. Hargreaves. He's been such an inspiration to me, and he's always pushed me to be my best. He's become someone more than a teacher to me, but my mentor. Thank you. Nehla Abu Sabiha. Hi, today I'd like to honor Ms. Shami, my 11th grade language arts teacher. Ms. Shami is the only teacher who has ever pushed me to do more because she knew me and my work. She wanted the best for all of her students. Her warm smile always made my day. I've never met anyone who always had a smile on just like her. She has the best personality. Jinan Ahmed. I'd like to honor Mr. Seymour. Although he was never my real teacher, he was the one who encouraged me to major in mathematics because he taught me the importance of it. So thank you. Azal Ahmed. Good evening. I'd like to honor my fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Lorber. She's been the most amazing, loving, and caring teacher I've ever had. Thank you. 
Maha alaktam. I would like to honor um, my teacher, Ms. Ramos, for always being there and telling me, you don't say you can't do something unless you try to do it. Thank you. Shema Alwadi. Um, I'm waiting for my teacher to come back. Well, I'm honoring Mr. Seymour, and he actually helped me um, make the right choices and encouraged me to make and ch challenge myself and not take the easy, easy way out. Thank you, Mr. Seymour. <laughs> Asma Sayyid Ali. Let me start off by saying um, I hate history. It's so boring. But um, when I had Mr. Vanabash, he never taught history. He kind of like made it into a play which is um, like a way you cannot not be entertained. Um, he's honestly like a jewel to the German public schools community, and there's no way you cannot learn. So he's like totally awesome. <laughs> Asra Abu Najm. Ms. Mamandri, even though you were unable to come here, I want to thank you for teaching me uh, to respect people and to value their beliefs, even though I may not agree with them. Thank you. Mrs. Mamandri was not able to attend. Hanin Ali. I have had the privilege of getting to know Mrs. Parks over the course of four years. In those four years, she has inspired me to pursue a career in medicine through her enthusiasm for science. Thank you, Mrs. Parks, for being more than my teacher, but for being my friend, confidant, and role model. Thank you. Asil L. Maklani. Hi. Uh, my name is Asil, and I'm here to honor Mrs. Ferris. When I first uh, was put in her class, I was put by accident. Uh, I, my counselor gave me her class, so without me uh, choosing the class, it was accounting. And in the beginning, I was kind of nervous from her. But right now, I'm nervous to, to speak in front of you to thank her for all the things that she has done for me. She's a great teacher. She helped me with everything. She helped me in uh, getting into an HS and in uh, my college application. So I thank her for all the, all the things she has done for me. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Sham Al Mahdi. Hello, everyone. My name is Sham Al Mahdi, and I'm here to honor uh, Ms. Ray Rayback. Uh, there were many teachers who have been a great influence on me, but none more so than Ms. Rayback. For the past four years, she has been there for me, whether it was help with math homework or a personal problem. While Ms. Rayback has always been there for not only me, but anyone in need, I consider myself lucky to not only call, call Ms. Rayback my mentor, but my friend. Thank you. Warda Atris. It is such an honor to pledge Ms. Elder, my counselor, as the individual that has inspired me the most throughout my high school career. She has aided me so much from scheduling me into the classes that have most interested in me and that also aided me into my academic career. She helped me, a first-generation college student, apply and be accepted into the, some of the most amazing universities. She's one of the few educators I have, come, I have came across that has taken the time to develop and maintain a personal relationship with me to even treating me and caring for me like her own daughter. Thank you, Ms. Elder. Aya Awara. I have the honor to stand up here today and recognize one of the greatest role models in my life, the sweetest and most helpful lady I've ever encountered, who never turned her back on me through thick or thin. I would like to thank Ms. Awada for all her encouragement and help throughout these past years. You are an amazing person, and thank you for everything you have done. Asma Baban. Good evening. Um, 
<laughs> before we came up here, Ms. Patrick was apologizing to me because she thought I would, she's like, I'm sorry for whatever I've done to you. She thinks I'm going to roast her. Um, <laughs> but in all honesty, I was trying to figure out what I was going to say, and I realized that there is no combination of words or phrases in the English language that can describe who Ms. Patrick is as a person. And she's just, you know, more than a friend. She's more than a teacher. She's more than a friend. She's honestly one of the most important people in my life, and I love her to death. For that, for those reasons, and for the fact that she gets, that's what she just, that's what she said jokes more than I do. <laughs> Thank you. Kesem Baloop. Good evening, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank my family who helped me get to where I got to today, helping me get through school. And secondly, I'd like to thank my teacher, Mr. Kent, who wasn't able to make it today. Mr. Kent is very uh, passionate and enthusiastic about his job, and he loves doing what he does. Thank you, Mr. Kent, for giving me such a wonderful high school experience. Again, Mr. Kent apologizes you could not make it. Miriam Baydoun. Good evening. Today I'm honoring my peer mediator advisor, Ms. Shinkowski. Ms. Shinkowski is truly one of the greatest people I've met during my four years at Fortson. Um, the first time I met her, I knew she was one of those people that really enjoyed her job, especially spending time with her peer mediators. I am extremely grateful to have known her and hope one day I will be able to help as many people as she does every day. Thank you, Ms. Shinkowski. Sonia Beydoun. Hello, everyone. Tonight I'm here to honor my pre-call teacher, Ms. Raybeck. Um, Ms. Raybeck is always dedicated in the classroom, helping us become the best students that we can be, and she's enthusiastic about her teacher. Um, I'm just very grateful to have met a great role model, mentor, and teacher, and a lifelong friend. Thank you. Zainab Beydoun. Tonight, I'd like to honor my AP chemistry teacher, Mr. Hargraves. He, I've had him for three years. I did, he didn't only teach me chemistry, but life principles to live by. And I don't think I would have even known about a chemistry major before his class. He taught me to always question everything, never to settle for something I don't understand. And I think that's where I got my curiosity from. So I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Hargraves. Dania Bazzi. It has been my pleasure to have Mrs. Hain as an honors chemistry, topics in chemistry, and AP environmental science teacher. She has been insightful in both the curriculum and in motivating her students to apply knowledge attained in the classroom. Thank you, Mrs. Hain. Thank you, Dina. Diala Bazzi. Hi. Um, Ms. Rita is not only my teacher, but truly the big sister I never had. I have yet to meet a woman with half of the amazing qualities she has. She has such a big heart, and I'm a better person today because of what she has taught me and not just as a student. Thank you. Gada Bezi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Mom. Um, the teacher I brought today is Ms. Bays. Ms. Bays was my pre-calc teacher in my junior year. Our relationship has developed over the past two years. When I first met her, she was just my teacher. Our relationship has gradually matured over the past two years. She has not only influenced me inside the school, but also beyond school hours. Even though we bought heads the first two weeks, <laughs> I've come to realize this was her showing me her affection. We only butted heads because two great minds think alike. Our personalities are both stubborn, persistent, and kind-hearted. But the reasons why I love her the most is because she has played as a second mother figure towards me. And who does not love their mom? Thank you, Ms. Bates, for everything you have done for me. 